Her assignment today was to sing the alphabet to a family member. <laughs> One of you guys told me about this hack for babies to help them eat bananas, which is so true because I gave her some eggs. She can pick up the things that are solid very easily, but the bananas she struggles with because as they get slimy, it's hard for her to, to do it. Turn it around, you can't eat the peel. Look, like that. There you go, good job. Maybe next time I should leave, take more peel off or leave the banana bigger. But anyway, it helps them hold it and that way they can actually eat the banana and not slip and slide and make a mess all over the place. Is that a good breakfast? <laughs> Is that so good, Mama? Yeah. Well, there went the banana. What happened? There went the banana. It fell out of your hole. And now it's in your other hand. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not in there anymore. It's not in there anymore. <laughs> it's in your other hand. It's right here. Look. You see? She's like, Mom, what the heck? You took my banana. It's in this hand. Look. She's like, Sissy, you have my banana. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's right here, baby. It's, right it's not in Sissy's hand. Look, it's right here. It's right here. <laughs> Everly. Has your banana. Oh my gosh, babies are so funny. Look. It's right here. It's right there. See? <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay, Sissy, I guess you, I guess you didn't take my banana. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like mommy. I know. <laughs>this morning but I don't think I showed my face nothing to look at here my hair is clean but it's like up in this messy bun that's falling over and I am already exhausted and it's 3 30 p.m. now that everyone's school is over that's me underneath me everyone's school is over now it's mama's turn everyone's in nap or quiet time and I have to sit at the computer and do school work I have two I have a quiz and one more assignment due this week and I really want to try and get them done today and tomorrow so that I can just enjoy Sunday without having that looming over my head that it has to be done Sunday night. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try really hard. So if I can get even just one of them done today and some studying, I can finish studying for the quiz tomorrow and take it tomorrow night. That'll be great. Um, so we'll see. And I also need to edit. I have my pantry challenge to edit and the vlog for tonight to edit. So... I'm going to get going. I'll probably see you guys next for dinner. I think for dinner we're going to do, we have some of that leftover pork from last night's dinner. So I think we're gonna do that with, Andres made a good point to like mix it with rice and make like a, like a pork fried rice type of thing. So I think we may, may do that and I may end up doing mine with cauliflower rice, cauliflower rice. So we'll see, but. I gotta get to it because I promised the girls when they got up from quiet time that they would be able to go swimming. So I need to have all hands on deck 
when they're all up. So I'm gonna try and get as much as I can get done now. Okay, everyone is starting to come down. We're about to go head into dinner, but I finished all three things that I needed to do. Um, I did my, I had to do the DASH diet. If you have hypertension, you know anybody who has hypertension, I'm sure they've implemented the DASH diet. But essentially it's just like whole eating, lean stuff, healthier stuff. So DASH is an acronym. It stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. The plan encourages you to eat a wide variety of foods. Um, it mainly focuses on fresh fruits, vegetables, whole grains, low-fat, fat-free dairy products. You're going to stick with lean meats like poultry and fish. Nuts and beans are also a great source of protein. We're going to stay away from those higher fat foods like fatty red meats, full fat dairy products, and cooking oils. We're going to start to use those a little bit more sparingly. Lastly, probably the hardest for us all are staying away from those sugary beverages and sweets. That can be very difficult for a lot of people, but definitely the most necessary when doing the DASH diet. Anyway, I had to do a video talking about it, and I had to record it about 30 times because it had to be under three minutes, and I kept like barely i think i recorded nine or ten videos that were like three minutes four seconds three minutes six seconds i was like ah i finally finally got it i edited the pantry challenge so go check that out by the time you guys are watching this it will have already gone live i scheduled it to go up today when y'all are watching this this morning at 10 a.m and i edited tonight's vlog and it's uploaded i just need to go back and like fill in the description box and all that good stuff so i feel really good now tonight when everyone goes to bed I finish my second assignment for the weekend I just have to finish studying for the quiz so I can do that finish studying for the quiz and I'll maybe be able to take the quiz tomorrow I feel really good about it and yeah I had to wear my lab coat because I have a spaghetti strap so for dinner we're gonna do that pulled pork so I'm gonna go ahead and go do that take a little bit of a break I oh, Mila I almost ran over you mama I get so scared, especially when they're this little, like being underneath me, because I would really hurt her if I tripped over her. I don't want that, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna go take this off and go rest for a little while. You guys see that squirrel right there? Apparently he was here the other day, going all over the playground. He even got on the stairs, on the ladder to the pool. I'm not sure what he's looking for, but Oh, Everly. <laughs> oh, look, there he goes. He's going to jump in the pool. He's going to jump in the pool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everly. Oh, what's going on, Mama? You jealous? Look how fluffy its tail is. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. What is he doing in our yard? What is he looking for? Maybe he's eating my basil plant. I think he's drinking water. From the pool? Wait, 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 wait. You're gonna scare him. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, he's in the pool. He's swimming. No, he's not. He's still in the water. He's true. That's not good for him. Mommy, your battery's about to die. Yeah, he's drinking water, but that's not good for him. Baby, he needs a bowl in the treehouse. <laughs> and some nuts. <laughs> She's like, y'all aren't paying attention to me. <laughs> what happened? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh, look how stuffy his tail is. Mommy, our battery is about to die. Do mm. you want me to go grab you another one? <laughs> We'll leave him some food and water. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, you just, you just but what if Bella? Bella doesn't. Bella doesn't eat nuts. And besides, it's gonna be up in the treehouse oh, where yeah. it just was, and some nuts. It can find some nuts on its own, but the water will be clean. Yeah, but it's we still staring have to at us. Well, it. made staring at us through its eye on the side. We had a leftover dinner tonight, and man, was it bomb! Good job, baby doll. Good job. So good. Also, I did my nails while earlier while everyone was napping. My last summer nail of the season. Hey, mom. Dinner was so good. The girls swam for like three hours after dinner. Now they're going to bed very late. 
and I have not gone back to the computer. We are going to watch Doubling Down with the Del Ricos, I think is what the title of it is. I just think that is so interesting. I've only ever, del I've delivered one set of triplets in my labor and delivery c career. One set of triplets. It was two girls and a boy. And that's it. Everything else has, and even twins, I've probably delivered... I've delivered two sets of vaginal twins and I've probably delivered 10 to 12 C-section twins. Everything else was a singleton, everything else. And I've had complications, like I've had high risk pregnancies, I've had um, babies that have been born with all different kinds of things going on. Um, but as far as multiples, only one set of triplets, one set crazy right and two actually i've had three deliveries vaginally for twins but um on one of them baby b didn't make it so hold on no i've delivered more than that because i had another mama who lost both of her twins and then one that delivered a full term baby a and baby b had actually passed at like 20 weeks and she carried him so maybe i've delivered and i've had two so I've, actually i've had like five sets vaginally and then the rest have been c-section but so i've definitely delivered more twins than anything but she has had four sets of multiples four two sets of twins well and actually a set of twins a set of quintuplets a set of triplets, one baby didn't make it, and then another, she just delivered another set of triplets. What the heck? And then she has two singleton kids. 14 children, that is insane. But it's a really interesting show. You guys know I love stuff like this. Also, while Autumn was getting tucked into bed, I was looking at Instagram, and I was watching uh, my friend Noelle's um, Insta stories, and she talked about getting her passport in four weeks. I think that is amazing, because you guys remember right before the pandemic hit, we got Everly's passport like in the beginning of March or like end of April or something. We did not get it in the mail and February. Oh, no, I didn't mean April. I meant February. It was right before the pandemic. We didn't get it in the mail until like what? The beginning of August. And we kept tracking it and tracking it because, you know, they keep their birth certificate and everything. And her social, I can't remember, just birth certificate. And so we're like, what the heck? Like, we literally just got that birth certificate, and then we turn around. She was just a couple months old. We turn around and sent it off to get her passport, and it took six, like, five months to get here. Solid five to six months to get here. Isn't that insane? Oh, no, it was, like, July. I remember, because it, we were supposed to get it back in March, because in July we were supposed to be going to Mexico, that didn't end up happen, be, happening because of COVID. So we got her passport just in case. And now it's, we, I mean, kids' passports change every five years. Like, I don't know that she'll be going anywhere unless once this all ends, we end up going to Mexico. Like, oh, it's just crazy. And Noelle got hers in four weeks and it took for at least six months to get her passport. Anyway, I've, I'm gonna watch this show. This is the only thing that we have to watch together. Otherwise, it's just like, his shows are my shows and I'm gonna go try and watch a couple videos and study for the night and then call it a night my face has been um, feeling kind of like extra oily and like irritated today so I don't know if it was part of the products I was using yesterday I'm gonna have to look at that and go from there and I, I have a hard time not touching it so that's probably part of the issue too um, so I'm gonna have to get it give it a good scrub down today and restart i'm hoping the girls let us sleep in a little bit tomorrow because after a long week and i know i'm not alone distance learning is exhausting i know the kids are the ones actually doing the work but parents are truly the ones doing all the work it's just mentally draining and exhausting by the end of the week i am ready for a sleep in day i finished up a few of the recordings we finished up the show and i just got out of the shower i'm doing some skincare my skin actually feels super tingly i think <laughs> i should have waited on this product is definitely going to give me the tingles i probably should just use it twice a week um but it's a pharmacy 
Honeymoon Glow. I got my Sephora package in today. This one's significantly more expensive. It has glycolic, lactic, and hyaluronic acid. So it's definitely a lot stronger than just the lactic acid from um, the Ordinary. Although I think the lactic acid on here is more potent than it is in here. I'd have to look up the box to see if it gives percentages and stuff. But I did what it told me to do and as you can see my face is a little bit red so we'll kind of play it by ear and see normally I don't have super sensitive skin but maybe it's because I just did the lactic acid a few days ago I thought I waited enough time but maybe not so I also got the origins original skin retexturizing mask with rose clay this was recommended by you guys um, this is just a mask to kind of help with the texture of my skin I have noticed it looking slightly plumper plumper yes during the day um, but it still has that like unevenness on my forehead and on my cheek area maybe that's why it's so red because it's trying to get rid of everything I do have a lot of large pores and fine lines in my forehead and like crow's feet I would actually really like to get Botox um, it's something that I've been thinking about for a little while now more of like preventative Botox I don't have super super deep lines but I do have one here here and a couple here that you can kind of see when I raise my forehead but that I need my forehead just to be like even I, especially with oily skin maybe dry skin would accentuate it as well but especially with oily skin like you can see all of it anyway so we're trying some stuff so I got that origins and then I'm using this tonight on my eyes and I actually really like it it's glow recipe avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask so I can feel, first off, it's super thick and luxurious. It's it's a pretty expensive eye cream. It comes with this little spatula to get it out, which I appreciate because I hate getting product under my nails. Even if my nails are short right now, which I showed you my color street. This is a watermelon set from last summer, and I, I wanted to do one more summer set before I go into fall. When I go into fall, I'm going to go deep. I got I'm getting the fall collection tomorrow and Tuesday I think so I'll be having a live sometime in the next week week and a half or so so be on the lookout for that but that avocado eye mask or eye um under eye what is it called under eye retinol yeah sleeping mask was recommended super super thick the other one that I have is by Bosha and Bosha Bosha yeah and it's super lightweight so it's great for during the day but this one i needed something a little thicker for at night and then the last thing that i get i got was this um ule henriksen and i had to go look up his name <laughs> because i i always thought it was ole henriksen and he, he actually pronounces it ule ule henriksen anyway this is the find your balance oil control cleanser and again this has some i have to look at the box it does have like AHAs and a whole bunch of other seed oils and stuff so we'll see um, you're supposed to use it with warm water lather it up and then rinse I wanted to try the origins no zero oil cleanser or something but I couldn't find it and I was ordering off of Sephora so I may just have to order off their website so yeah, we'll see. I definitely won't be doing any of the treatments or anything tomorrow or probably Sunday because this you don't want to be out in the sun with this stuff and um, I definitely don't want to give myself a burn or anything like that. So yeah, it said that you could layer this. It kind of feels sticky. You could put um, like a night oil or something over it, which I may because I, can, I still feel a little like dry spots kind of in this outer patch. And then I'm gonna put my last serum, serum, oh my gosh, I can't even speak, and go to bed. Um, hopefully, I'm not doing anything wrong to my skin. I don't think so. I did a lot of research and I kind of looked up what you can use and what you can't. I'm just realizing that my skin is probably a little bit more sensitive to these products than I was thinking initially, which is totally fine. I'll back off. So, yeah, I'm going to head to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, actually, hopefully not too early. Hopefully we get to sleep in. But we'll see you then.